Gramsci risuona, risuona Lenin che è chiamato in causa nei documenti perché le sue condanne all'avventurismo. We're standing here in front of Gramsci's house, which is now a museum, and you grew up uh, just around the corner from here. What does that mean to you? For me it means a lot of things, of course, but um, I have to tell you that I discovered him quite late, uh, when I was at the university in Rome, and people asked me uh, something about Gilalza, the village where Gramsci grew up. This is why I wanted to work on this lack of memory, because I wonder how people here don't know much about Gramsci's life and, uh, and thought. What's your connection to Gramsci? My connection to Gramsci is first is a family connection because as a, as a child my grandfather who was like a long time communist used to read to me uh, Gramsci's letters not not the not books the letters and I remember that I, my, in my world of a five years boy there was like Tatiana and there was the mother and there was Teresina all these names were very familiar to me I remember my mom was not completely happy because some of the letters had a bit of a sad tone, not all of them. And my, my grandfather used to talk to me about Gramsci a lot. We're standing in his garden now and you seem to know where Gramsci used to sit and read. Can you show us that yeah, place? Yeah, apparently it should be something around here because they say it's under the tree. This tree looks old enough to me. Plus, then from a letter, we discovered that he also planted that little tree, should be that one. So what would you say about Gramsci is particularly Sardinian? Even if he had a lot of difficulties in, in his life, but he chose a direction and I uh, followed this direction. He was really persistent and stubborn mm -hmm. and critic. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is another characteristic of uh, Antonio Gramsci and Sardinian people. Really critic of, uh, of the reality. Because we have been colonized in a sense by Italy, maybe this is this uh, isolated position and of course the insularity. This is a very uh, characteristic trait of uh, Sardinian people and we are very proud to live in an island, if, even if to live in an island uh, means a lot of difficulties and uh, a real isolation from the world. But still, it's a beautiful island, so... <laughs> Uh, in their totality, a revolution are more than the transformation of the state. Revolutions have also a social side, the level of the grassroots, the level of the subaltern, uh, the level of the everyday. And it is here, I think, that uh, Gramsci becomes uh, relevant.
What can Gramsci teach us today in these times in which we're living? It's it's an example of life that is uh, a real moral guide for uh, living in this uh, time of crisis <laughs> where the old died but a new cannot be born. Samonza de Otana, 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 Samonza de Otana,